<clears throat> Howdy everybody, this is I'm 264 Shirt. Now it's time for a retro Price is Right pricing game recap. And this episode aired on February 12th, 1990. Three months and a day before I was born. On this day in Price is Right history, the pricing games included Golden Road, Clock Game, Grand Game, Safe Crackers, Dice Game, and a retired game called Give or Keep. First, Susan played Golden Road. At the end of the Golden Road today, there was a prize worth over $49,000. At the beginning of the road was a can of Campbell's potato soup. Then it continued with a party cart kettle cart grill modeled by Diane Parkinson, a Golden West billiards pool table modeled by Janice Pennington, and finally the $49,000 prize, a Jaguar XJS two-door sport coupe modeled by Holly Halster. Campbell's soup was 51 cents. The last two numbers in the price of the grill were 2 and 7. The first number was either 5 or 1. Susan picked the 5, and of course, that was right. $527 the price. First one's always easiest. Next, the price of the pool table was 1,000 blank. 65. The second number was either 5, 2, or 7. Susan picked the 7, and she was right again. The pool table was 1765. Now we head to the car worth more than $49,000. The last two digits were 3 and 5. The third number was 1, 7, six or five. Susan picked the six. When Bob pulled up the cover, up came the number... Six! Susan won it all! $49,635 car, the $527 grill, and the $1,765 pool table all together worth fifty one thousand nine twenty seven a spectacular start to this episode <clears throat> Noel played clock game for a Tennessee furniture industries pup set modeled by Diane and a color time color TV set modeled by Janice. The camera showed the TV being modeled, and guess what the screen showed? That's right, a chain reaction, so to speak. <laughs> there was no cash bonus yet, by the way. The guesses Noel made on the pub set, and whether the price was higher or lower, were as follows. 600, lower. 500, higher. 550, higher. 575, lower. 560, lower. 551, 52, and boom! She got the pub set worth $552. Next, with 21 and a half seconds remaining, Noelle was now bidding on the TV. Her guesses? 800, lower. 700, higher. 750, lower. 725, higher. 730, higher. 740, higher. 750, oops. 741, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and she got it! Yeah. Nice save. <laughs> the TV was 749, and Noel won both prizes, totaling $1,301. Carmen, no, not Carmen San Diego, played Grand Game the chance to win up to $10,000. Target price for today was $2.15. 
Six grocery items included Jimmy Dean's Steak Biscuits, Dove Bar Soap, Sun Made Fruit Bits, Rice Aroni Chicken Rice, Car de Court Anti Itch Cream, and finally Plaque Attack Fluoride Mouthwash. Carmen's first pick was the rice. The price of the rice? $1.39. She now had $10 after starting out with one dollar. Next, she picked the fruit snack. The fruit snack was a dollar sixty-nine. A dollar sixty-five rather, and Carmen now had a hundred dollars. Carmen's next choice was the biscuits. They were one ninety-nine and now she had a thousand dollars. Bob asked Carmen if she understood the situation right now. It took her a while to explain it accurately, but she did eventually explain that if she decided to stop, she'd have a thousand dollars. Not to mention winning ten thousand if she went for it and was right, or losing a thousand if she went for it and was wrong. Carmen said she knew she was going to win with the soap. She did use the soap. Uh, not in the studio though, <laughs> and it cost a dollar seventy-nine for a two-pack where she shopped. Anyway, uh, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John from Greece. Did Carmen win ten thousand dollars? <laughs> They're right! Carmen won $10,000! The soap was a dollar seven here. Bob never showed the prices of the other two items, but what does it matter? With this win, we got a perfect first half. Not to mention all three contestants being women. Peter, the first man on stage, played safe crackers, which used the Pink Panther theme for its cue back in the day. Diane had a bit of difficulty opening the safe door, so Bob asked Peter to help her out. The prize package included a J.B. Ross brass bed with Biopedic mattress modeled by Janice, and a truck line acrylic trunk modeled by Holly. Diane had no problem closing the safe, though. Peter was to figure out the three number combination, which was the same as the numbers in the price of the trunk. The three numbers were 0, 8, and 4. Peter turned the first dial to the 8, the second to the 4, and the third to the 0, making his guess $840. Then he turned the wheel and pulled the handle on the safe door and it was locked. At least he wouldn't have difficulty getting it open. <laughs> anyway, the price of the trunk was 480 and the first man on stage was the first loser. But I'll tell you right now that all three contestants on stage in the second half were men, so we might get a male winner here. Carlos played Dice Game for a Mercury Topaz two-door GS modeled by Jens. The first number in the price of the car was one, and of course, no numbers higher than six and no zeros. Carlos rolled a three for the possible second number. Was it three? No, it wasn't three, and Carlo guessed that the number was higher. Nowadays, that would be a good guess, but since five-digit cars were fairly new back then, maybe not the best guess. Anyway, for the third number, he rolled a four. Was it four? No, it was not four, and he guessed that it was lower. For the fourth number, 
He rolled a six. Was it six? No, but we knew it was lower. Finally, he rolled a four. Was it four? Nope. Carlos went lower. Now, for the second number, he went with the odds, saying the number was higher than three. Once again, maybe not a good move, considering five-digit cars were in their infancy. Inflation was somewhere around the 11,000s when it came to cars. Uh, you know, cars like the one Carlos was playing for. Anyway, was the second number higher than three? No, it wasn't. It was one, and that was the game. And the third number was two, which was lower than four. The fourth number was three, obviously lower than six. And the last number was five, not lower than four. The price of the car was 11235 Finally, Carl played give or keep for a trip to Germany for a six-night stay, hotel not really specified, modeled by Holly and worth $3,863. I'll have to get confirmation on that. In this game, you had to put three prizes in the give column, and they all had to total less in price than the prizes in the keep column. First, between a Presto salad shooter, electric slicer, shredder, and a three-piece toiletry set from Boss, including cologne, bath, soap, and deodorant, Carlos kept the toiletries. The shredder was fifty dollars and now the give column had fifty dollars next faced with a choice of an Oster snowflake ice crusher and a black and decker iron Carl chose to keep the iron the ice crusher was forty dollars and now the give column had ninety dollars finally between ferris slacks and a double-duty wet-and-dry Hoover hand vacuum, Carlos, I mean Carl, kept the vacuum. The slacks were $35, and the give column now had $125. So, if he kept more than $125 worth of prizes, he'd be off to Germany. The toiletries were worth $58. The iron price was $32, and now he had $90. If the vacuum was at least $36, we'd have a winner. And the price was $40, so Carl just won a trip to Deutschland. Yeah. So... Yeah. We had four winners, and they were in Golden Road, Clock Game, Grand Game, and Give or Keep. We also gave away $11,000 in cash. $10,000 went to Carmen in Grand Game, and $1,000 in the second showcase showdown to Peter, who didn't get the wheel all the way around in his bonus spin. How often does that happen? The MVPs of the Price is Right are all three women on stage, Susan, Noel, and Carmen and also Carl. Peter also gets contestant recognition for his thousand dollar bonus spin and for his showcase win including a JD Originals living room group modeled by Janice along with World Carpets Carpeting, a Wurlitzer organ modeled by Holly, and a West White sailboat modeled by Diane. Peter bid eleven thousand dollars. The actual retail price was sixteen thousand five hundred thirty dollars difference of 5530 It was very close, too, because Susan bid $17,025 on her showcase, the actual retail price of which was $23,007, for a difference of 5982 She started to celebrate a bit prematurely, but stopped, 
when Bob read off the retail price. Anyway, Peter won a grand total of $18,899. Rod Roddy stated in a voiceover while the credits were rolling that because of a pricing error which may have affected the bidding, Susan won her showcase as well. That was worth $23,007 along with the $1,495 motor scooter, which was the item up for bid she won, and the $51,927 were the prizes, including a $49,635 Jaguar. Her grand total winnings were $76,429, so she's the real big winner for this day, February 12th, 1990. Emotional consideration is provided by Playball, the album featuring the music from such baseball movies as The Natural, A League of Their Own, Field of Dreams, and Angels in the Outfield, the 1994 remake. Also, James Earl Jones' version of Casey at the Bat, and Abbott and Costello's Who's on First. Till next time, this is I'm 264 Shirt reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. See y'all.